Hello there, I'm Ali. During the last years, I faced some problems caused by my gender. This is my story. Uh, honey, there's a lunch. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, make sure to grab your water bottle. Okay, thanks. See you Have later. Fun. Bye. Make sure to make the laundry today. And if I get back home, I really want to have the dinner ready. Well, uh, actually, um, of course. Good, we're just talking about what colleges we're applying to. Yeah, and which ones are those? Well, I'm applying to UCLA and UCSB, even though I probably won't get in, and also in Minnesota, just in case. I already know I'm not getting into any school, so I plan on going to community college. What about you, Alex? I'm not sure I'm doing the whole college thing. My mom didn't, and I don't think she'll let me do it either. Why not? My parents think college is just for boys. I'm only going to be cooking and cleaning the rest of my life, so what's the point of going to college anyways? But you don't have to listen to her. You could maybe go to community college with me. She can't stop you. I mean, yeah, but I don't want to let my parents down, especially after all they've done for me. I don't know, girl. Maybe think about it. I guess, but I would like if you guys would be respectful of my family. Not going to college can't be that bad. I'll just take whatever the future gives me. I'll never know if I don't look into it. Maybe I should give it a chance. Jake, how was your day? It was good. We got our results back from our geography test. I got a B. Good job. And Allison, how was your day? It was fine. All my friends are just talking about their college applications, so I don't really have anything to talk to them about anymore. Well, it's not like you would like to go to college anyways. You know, college just isn't for girls. But why not? It couldn't hurt. Because you're not supposed to, that's why. Men go to college and women like you and me, we stay at home and do not go to college. It's just how it is and you will never change that. Yeah, I've been hearing from people at work that many women are going to college. And I don't know what they think about that. I mean, women are physically weaker than men and they are intelligently, they are, they are not as intelligent. And that are just facts. Your dad is right, just accept what nature has given to you. Can I be excused? I have to work on my college application. Why does he get to go to college? Because he's a boy and you just go to your room. Whatever, you guys don't care about me anyways. Allison Smith, don't talk to me like that. I'm so stressed with college application. I'm sorry, how far are you on them? I'm almost done. Maybe you could help me. You know I have my own things to work on, right? You want to go to college. Uh, I want to at least apply. But you are a girl. Are you serious? I'm so sick of that being the only thing that defines me. Why do you get to go to college and I don't? Hey, why are you so upset? You've known that your only task would be cleaning and cooking for me. Maybe that's not all I want to do. Have you ever even asked if I want to go to university? Well, I guess not. Exactly. I'm so sick of other people deciding what I'm going to be. Wait, you can't just leave. And what if I do? You don't care about me anyways. No, don't leave. Otherwise, I will call your dad and tell them what you've done. <laughs> the only thing I'm done with is you. You ready to start applying? Yes, I am. Just don't tell your dad, okay? I won't. Don't even worry. I never got to do this myself since my parents told me I couldn't go to college. So I'm really glad that I can do it with you. But don't expect too much help from me. I have no experience with this kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Hey mom, how's it going? I'm fine, how are you? I'm good. I just finished up on my last college paper of the year. Good work, I'm so proud of you. Thanks mom, how are your classes going? I know that the interior design major is really hard. I'm so glad you inspired me to get divorced from my dad and go to college, even though we both always thought it was impossible. Impossible? Well, nothing is impossible. Even though people treat you really bad, nobody believes in you, or you feel borders because of your gender, you can still follow your dreams, reach your goals, 
and be extraordinary. All you need is a little bit of trust in yourself and never lose your voice.